everyone, it's Wiki Bunnies. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have a pretty big haul of coquette slash girly looking clothing pieces that I want to show you guys. Also, how are we liking today's outfit? It's very like mermaidy, beachy type of vibe. I like the combination of the crochet knit, the gold, the seashells, and then the sea star clips are just very mermaidy looking, I feel like. But yeah, anyways, moving on to the clothes, everything I bought in this video was purchased secondhand hand and online. Those stores include Mercari, Depop, Mercari Japan, and etc. And so the first piece I want to show you guys is actually what I'm wearing right now. And it's a super cute crocheted top. I think you call it like a bolero. I'm pretty sure that's like the actual name of it. But here, let me just stand up for a quick second so you can kind of see the rest of it. It's super cute. It has like all these roughly details on it and then you can just tie it up here into a little bow and then i love the sleeves because they also have sort of like a flared out thing which reminds me of like late 60s 70s type of vibe and i'm really excited that i got this because i feel like it will go with like a lot of different types of outfits and everything because it is lightweight and pretty neutral so yeah i'm really happy that i got this because it's just very like pretty and girly looking i'll be showing all the brand names and then also listing everything in the description just in case i forget like obviously i didn't want to take this off right now so i'll have the brand name to this crocheted bolero in the description below but moving on the first thing i want to show you guys is this super cute pink ruffle skirt and i love the way that light catches it because it has like a slight shimmer to it and it's so freaking pretty and the brand is forever 21 if you want to know that honestly i feel like this is such a pretty piece considering it's forever 21 forever 21 honestly is kind of hit or miss for me and this was definitely a hit not a miss because i think it is super cute the color is gorgeous and the way it shimmers is so pretty so i'm glad to have this in my closet now the third piece i have to show you guys is this super cute argyle sweater and i just love it look at how pretty and dainty it is oh, so cute and the brand is cecile mcbee if anybody's wondering i just love this sort of in and out ribbon i don't know the exact term for what you call this but i love this detailing when it's on clothes because it's just so cute and so that has like lace trim up here and also around the sleeves and then little pearls on the actual sweater and it's just so freaking cute i really love this so this next piece i'm so sad that it didn't fit me because it's so freaking pretty but it's this super cute ruched pink corset top and i'm so sad this doesn't fit me because look at how freaking pretty it is it honestly reminds me of like barbie as rapunzel that movie just because it looks very like fairy tale esque but the brand is max and co and it, this was also made in italy so you can tell that this is like a nice piece so i'm really sad this did not fit me so the tag it says that it's a size l but the person who was selling it was making it out to be, oh, it can fit like a size small. You lied. You lied. <laughs> Cause like the tag says it's a large, but honestly, I feel like it would fit a medium the best. So brands are kind of weird when it comes to sizing. Like it's never a consistent size for every brand, but yeah, I'm so sad that it didn't fit me because it's such a freaking pretty piece. Because look, even the side has this super cute ruched detail that has a little bow. I'm so sad it didn't fit me, but I'm planning on selling this on my Depop, which is at Wiki Bunnies. So if you would like to purchase this baby, she will be there. The next piece I have is actually a two-piece set, and I will start out with the shorts first. And it's a super cute pink polka dot pattern, and it has like a roughly waistband and ruffles at the end of the shorts. And then this is what the back looks like. And I basically bought this set to be like beach wear, like a cover up, because the cover up I did have, honestly, it was looking a little like old. And I wanted something, honestly, that I feel like covered me more and didn't look as beachy, cover up y, you know? So it's more like casual looking clothes that you could wear. But the brand for anybody who's interested is Femme de Ange. So I think it's like 
some sort of French name, but this is a Japanese brand, so yeah. And this is what the top looks like. So it's a short sleeved hoodie and it's the same pink polka dot pattern. And then it goes all roughly down here and it's also roughly towards the sleeves. And yeah, I'm very excited to wear this to the beach just cause it's so freaking pretty and girly. So the next thing I have actually corresponds with the last thing that I showed you guys. And it is also more swimwear. So what I have to show you is actually a three piece swimsuit set. And starting off, we have this adorable pink bikini top. It's so cute cause of the polka dots the bow in the middle and then the ruffles like it's so girly i love it and everything in this set is brand new with tags as you can see and the brand is called beach dream for anybody who's curious so i purchased this swimsuit from japan and not gonna lie i was a little bit afraid that this was not going to fit me just because japanese people are a lot more slender than us western girlies so i was like is this gonna fit my boobs properly or not even the bottom because my hips are pretty wide and I was like, mm, this is Japanese sizing, so will it fit? I kind of took a risk there, but thankfully everything fits. Yay! It's a little tight on me, but it's not that bad. So I can continue to wear it and fulfill my girly beachy dreams. <laughs> and here's what the bottoms look like. They're pretty simple. They just have a little cute polka dot pattern on them. And lastly, I think this is probably my favorite part of the set. It comes with a little swim skirt. Isn't this so cute? I feel like you don't see this very often, like a swim skirt, hello? But it just makes it look that much cuter because you have the ruffles on the top, ruffles on the bottom. It's just masterpiece of a swimsuit. It's so gorgeous, I love it. And I'm so excited to wear this to the beach or pool or wherever has water. This next piece I love because of the floral pattern and the color and it is this gorgeous camisole and it's by the brand I mare Vita Lingerie. I'll just show you what the tag looks like because I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing that right. But this is also another thing from Japan and it's just gorgeous. I love the flowers on it. I love the freaking color. And then even the top here has cute little details. Like it has these little pearls and then the cute little bow in the middle. But I'm so excited to style this because it's just such a gorgeous piece. And this is gonna be perfect for the hot weather that is coming now. So next I have this adorable plaid skirt and I love the colors on it. It's kind of unusual to see white, pink and gray plaid skirt, like in this sort of style. It's very, very cute. And I purchased this from Japan, but from what I can see, there's not an actual brand name on it. It's just like Japanese numbers and then Wait, Japanese numbers? Wait a minute! What the hell did I just say? Japanese um, kanji, hiragana, and then actual like numbers. <laughs> but this skirt is so adorable and my favorite feature of it has to be the freaking belt chain that it just has attached to the skirt. Like it came like this and it's so freaking cute. <laughs> Cause like, look, there's little pearls and then it has pom poms attached to the pearls so cute like this kind of reminds me of mean girls but if mean girls was in japan because this kind of gives me more like gyaru type of vibes and just more like kawaii style but yeah this is such a freaking cute skirt and i'm so happy that i found it because it's just so cute looking so this top i'm about to show you guys reminds me a bit of what ariana grande wore in 34 35 you know like the fluffy lingerie top it kind of reminds me of that and it's this super cute baby doll lingerie top that has these spaghetti straps. And I love the color cause it's such like a light, pretty pink. And then the ruffles on the top of it really just sold me. And I was like, okay, I, I need to buy this. It's so freaking cute. And then it also has this adorable little bow detail on the strap. It's like not very noticeable unless you like look closely, but it's just the little details, they always get me, honestly. <laughs> and then towards the bottom, it also has the same tool-like material. And then if you're wondering what the brand is, it is Gelato Peak. It's a really cute um, tag, honestly. 
very cute. But this is also another Japanese brand and I'm honestly surprised with how many like Italian and French words you'll see in the brand names there. I guess they really like those cultures, but yeah, I really love this top. It's so freaking pretty, so feminine, so frilly, so me. <laughs> And so the next piece I have to show you guys is also brand new with tags and it's from the brand Liz Lisa as you can see here and it's super cute because it's shorts that kind of mimic the vibe of a skirt and I think the official name of it is like coolettes or something. I'm not entirely sure if I'm saying that properly because I'm pretty sure that's a French word but yeah it's coolettes if I'm saying that right. <laughs> But yeah, so it's not a skirt, it's actually shorts. And they didn't mention that in the listing that it wasn't a skirt because the way that they had it, it was just like flat on the ground. And I mean, it looks like a skirt, right? So I thought it was a skirt. And now that I'm seeing it in person, it's shorts and I'm like, oh, well, that's not really the sort of thing that I wanted. So I'm honestly thinking of selling this on Depop just because I really, I don't really wear shorts that much. I'm more of a skirts girl, to be honest. But I'm gonna list these on my Depop, which is at Wicked Bunnies, like before, just because I really did want this to be a skirt. And since it's shorts, I feel like I'm not gonna wear it as much. So I wanted to go to somebody who will wear it more than me. And so the last piece of clothing that I have to show you guys from this haul is this super cute, pink argyle sweater and it's just so adorable but the part that sold me on the sweater besides it being six dollars is the freaking milk made bust ah, it's so cute i think that's what you call it a milk made bust but it's just so adorable and shirts like these are just so freaking cute oh i'm really happy i got this but yeah that is everything that i have from my girly little haul to show you guys let me know in the comments below which was your favorite piece that i showed today thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed seeing my haul and for sticking around this long let me give you a heart heart and heart to you and i'll see you in my next video Ta -ta.